A developing story out of Lake Junaluska tonight where authorities are trying to figure out who killed a swan with a crossbow. Yeah, News 13's Rex Hodge is streaming live from Lake Junaluska. Rex, what are neighbors doing to find whoever's responsible? They are offering a reward for tips leading to an arrest, but in the meantime, they are absolutely heartbroken at the loss of a swan, now one of the top symbols of this Mountain Methodist retreat. They've graced Lake Junaluska for years. There were five swans here until Sunday, when residents say someone shot and killed one with this arrow from a crossbow. That I've tried to hold the tears back. Ken Zula lives on the lake shore and cares for the birds, especially the swans. Well, I get um, 350 pounds of food in that box down there every month. He helped Haywood County deputies find the swan and recover it Monday afternoon with the help of fishermen. One of the um, saddest things I've ever seen, this you know, beautiful bird laying flat in the ground with an arrow in it. You just question why somebody would do this, and they don't really understand the impact. Not just the majesty of the swans themselves, their importance even memorialized here. But Zula says it was a female killed, leaving three males and just one female. The surviving female is at least 14 years old, and so our chances of her hatching more eggs is slim. Swan reproduction has proven difficult at the lake, with turtles and foxes finding eggs and nests. I'd wring somebody's neck if I'd catch them. Residents are upset. Lake Junaluska's executive director is too, but he says the Methodist retreat stands for Christian hospitality and won't close to the public. An individual has chosen to cause this um, tragedy to occur, but we will continue to welcome people with open arms. Zula would like to see whoever did this caught, not thrown in jail, but made to pay for another swan and learn a lesson about loss. And now its mate has no mate. Just like people, you know, you have a loss of your partner. That, I mean, animals, you know, have the same feeling. Ken Zula and fellow Junaluskans here are offering a $500 reward for information leading to an arrest. If you have any information, you're asked to contact the Sheriff's Office. Reporting live tonight from Haywood County, Rex Hodge, News 13.